Hello, everybody. It is Kimberly and Serena coming back to you. We promised, right? So if you were here last week, we uh, introduced our, our first group trip, which is Tulum uh, in July. And this one is the drum roll brrr, is going to be Costa Rica once again. Um, we love Costa Rica. Do we not, Serena? It is just this. We love it. And our participants love it. I yes. mean, I think this is by demand as opposed mm -hmm. to by design sometimes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. People are like, are you going back there? We really want to go. And they've been on like that. That's the interesting. I, I think that's one of the things I love most about our trips is that we have individuals that repeat to the same place, knowing that they're going to get something different just because we are never going to recycle. Serena and I don't have a canned, uh, you know, retreat outline. It really is curated for the participants that are there, um, what their needs are and, and how we make. We go to different places, different locations um, and experience something. And the one beautiful thing about where we decide to go, which is called The Retreat um, in Costa Rica, is that uh, they even upgrade and do different things and are always redesigning and reinventing their space to make it more enjoyable. So each time we go back, there just seems to be just uh, even more to celebrate and to enjoy uh, as, as participants and resort guests. So this one is going to be November 8th through the 13th in 2024. And um, like all of our retreats, we start our group coaching in September and we end the group coaching in December. And so for those who may be coming in new and you're like, wait a minute, what are you talking about group coaching? We uh, don't just do a retreat where you you know, pay your money and just sign up and come and we're just there and you try to make friends in two minutes. We really want these retreats to be life-changing and for that to happen in a amount of time you we, there needs to be some coaching getting to know one another working through common issues what is it that we want to uh, get out of this experience uh, so that when we come back to our day-to-day -day lives that we've had an opportunity to really work through some things take the time away from family and friends and other people to work on ourselves and to enjoy and to process to then come back in. And so that takes some time. And we, we have those four sessions. Um, and one of them is after the retreat, because we want to make sure that it's a follow-up. Where are we right now? How, how are we feeling now that we've come through the experience and are we implementing the things that we were discussed? Uh, and so that's what we have there. Then we also have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. So you'll have a September date in which you'll speak with either Serena or myself. Um, and we kind of divide that up based upon who's there. We, we all have sometimes clients that come to us that I presently coach. So usually Serena will have that particular individual and vice versa um, at times. And then you'll have the, the your um, culminating one-on-one -on -one in December as well. And so the retreats are not just about coming in and it is, we're gonna have a good time, but it's not just about coming in to have a good time, but it's like, how can I truly have a transformative experience? And so November 8th through the 13th um, is when we are going to go back to the mountains of Costa Rica. And Serena, can you tell us a little bit about what they're going to experience when they walk into that area? Absolutely. So once again, another boutique uh, hotel uh, that is also a wellness resort, very focused on wellness being body, mind, and spirit for sure. It is uh, a mountain uh, top on top of a crystal, if you will, located in Costa Rica. It uh, is wellness as far as food is concerned, but also as far as the spa and activities are concerned. They have um on-site hiking and uh, we also uh, tend to take over some their studio so that we can do some yoga or dance movements or aqua aerobics whatever we end up settling on uh, for activities uh, meditations and in all of our retreats we have uh, coaching conversations throughout our time together so that we can 
really stay grounded and um, overcoming whatever's going on with us in our life as far as our fears and challenges and obstacles that we're facing and get to a place where we want to be. We um, do an excursion for uh, cultural immersion always um, because there's such a difference um, when we look at other people's cultures, the way they live, um, the way their day-to-day -day life is, especially for most of us who are planted in the United States going on those retreats and thinking about how they move, how they flow, what that looks like, and um, just opportunity to really unplug and and check out and focus on self. Because I would say, Kimberly, uh, as long as we've been doing this, many of our women who attend, they tend to everybody else. And so they often are tending to self last. And we're hoping in this space on this journey, they learn to tend to self, uh, not only first because they are on the retreat and unplugged, but how do they continue to care for themselves daily, right? So that they can get from a place of overflow as opposed to a place of depletion. And so really getting into that, it's beautiful. It's a place where everybody that we've had has gone. There have been no complaints. We've had several people go back to this. We've actually had an entire group claim uh, reunion in this particular um, resort. Um, and so we're very excited about this. We're looking forward to you joining us, as Kimberly said. Um, our cohort actually starts in September while the trip is in November. Um, so we encourage you to go to the website. Uh, www.embracingnewness.com. We also encourage you to sign up early, save your space and take advantage of the payment plans. We recognize that there's some who can make that one payment and keep it moving. And there's some who would prefer to have, you know, several months to pay things out and uh, that be taken care of. Like all of our others, it does include your daily meals and, um, all of the activities included. So um, out-of-pocket expenses are pretty much minimized unless there's something you want to buy, take home souvenirs or add on to. So we are excited about all that's going on for 2024. We hope that you're able to reach out to us if this is the trip for you to go to the website to check out all that we're doing. If you need something a little bit different during the, another time of the year, we offer private, uh, customized retreats for individuals, couples, groups, and corporate. And we'd be happy to put together something for you and have that particular uh, event curated just for you. Kimberly and I are always going on things, so I can't promise you that nothing else will pop up on our page um, and we'll be back to share any and everything that's put on our heart and mind for how to better service you. We also do individual coaching. So uh, she's available. I'm available. Should you just find that you, you need that during this time? We're hoping you a happy and healthy holiday season. Yes, definitely. Kimberly will say, keep your joy. Serena will say, and your peace. And... <laughs> <laughs> um, and we just um, wish wish you well, wish you well in all things. Definitely. Thank you so much for tuning in this Travel Tuesday. We will be back with you next week. And because of the holiday season, we're going to come back in with some travel uh, hacks, tips, and tricks. So join us next week for that too. All right. Peace and That's blessings. That's a great one. <laughs>